fix this. Get y'all back a little bit. Scoot y'all back a little bit and scoot y'all back a little bit. Let me see. Okay, how's this? Yes? No, for you guys. I got you. I got you. Instagram, Facebook. Okay, all right. Oh, it's a little shaky right up and through here. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me fix these cameras. This is what happens when you when you don't do it for a while, you know? You be like, oh, I ain't do this. I got you. I got you. I got you. Just give me a second. Everybody just calm down. I'm going to take care. Let me make sure this is right. Let me see. Yeah? Except for y'all. A little shaky over here. Instagram. But there we go. That should do it. Okay. We're all here. Everybody's present and accounted for. Sorry about the delays. Okay. Um, so normally I probably make like a, a cocktail or something, but I'm not doing that. I do have some tea left from yesterday. This was um peach tranquility from T Banner. So what I like to do. Ice, right? A little piece of ice. This is a uh, Sucra drops. S U C R A. Sucra drops. I get them right from Amazon. You only need a little bit. It's our artificial sweetener. If you like the sugar, then use the sugar. But I kind of don't like it, so I like to use the uh, Sucra. And then I do a little squeeze of uh, fresh squeezed lemon or lime, this is lime juice. And then I'll put in my iced tea or my tea. And now I've made one of those fancy schmancy um, drinks at Starbucks on the low, okay? You put it in your your fancy cup and then you got something going. I'm a tea drinker. You know, I don't really do the coffee like that. I do mostly um the tea. So that's what I like, okay? Is the tea. All right, so Let's do this. Uh, while I'm live, I'll change for you guys the discount code um, to something more than what it was. So I think it's at 25. I'm, I'll give you 40. I'll give you 41%. 41%. Only while I'm live. So the discount code is crab rice. I'm changing the discount code crab rice to 41%. Anything that you see me cooking with, I'll tell you I have it on the site. You guys can grab it if that's what you like, all right? So in this beautiful um, saucier, okay, in my beautiful uh, Darius Cook saucier, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some butter and... I'm gonna just add a stick. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, of butter. And uh, get that on the stove. And get this butter melted down. Okay, now, there's this big debate going on for whatever reason about whether or not you should use, um, whether or not you should use um, salted, versus unsalted butter. There's a huge debate. People are arguing about this. And you know what's so funny is I'm like, who cares? Just use use whatever they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, you haven't, nobody's ever tasted something and was like, oh my God, 
This tastes like unsalted butter, right? Nobody's ever, nobody's ever done that. So it's like, now the people will tell you there's a difference between salted versus unsalted, and I'm like, okay. If I'm if I'm making chocolate chip cookies. You can't tell that one is salted versus unsalted. But you know, hey, different strokes for different folks, right? All right. Now, I picked up the other day. You know, sometimes I just go to the supermarket, the grocery store. I just sort of walk around, see what they got. See what looks good and go because they, they, they come up with all these new products and stuff all the time in the store. I need my garbage bag, y'all. Hold on one second. Let me go get a garbage bag. I can't do this without no garbage bag. Hold on, y'all. Hold the line, please. Okay, I got one. I got one. This is gonna sound very weird, but do not judge me. However, I do not believe in a garbage can. Okay, I'm sorry. I do not believe in a garbage can. I believe in a bag on the floor. When you're done, take it out to the trash. I'm sorry, okay? That's what I believe in, all right? Okay, as I was saying, I was walking around and this, I saw this. This is freshly stone ground um, cornmeal, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, okay, cornmeal. I said, okay, Cornel, we need this. We, this is what we need in our lives. So I went ahead and picked up some. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to open this at all, okay? But I got my Darius Cook's Everyday Knife, and it's sharp, so it should be able to cut right through it, huh? <laughs> all right. Oh, by the way, this knife is on sale, too. Shop DariusCooks.com. Just use the code crab rice and you can save 42%. Okay. All right. So I got a nice little cute cup measure here. And I'm just measuring out one cup of my uh, finely ground cornmeal. Okay. Just one cup. To the uh, one cup of cornmeal, right? Now I'm gonna add some more dry ingredients. So, I got one cup of cornmeal. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. And then to that, I've got one cup of of all-purpose flour, okay? So, no, I'm not sifting, uh, you know, I'm not using cake flour, I'm just using regular, cheap, all-purpose flour, okay? That's it, that's all I'm using, all right? So we have just three simple ingredients, and I memorize it because it's always a cup, a cup, a cup, so a cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal, and then a cup of um, sugar, okay? Uh, we need a little pinch of salt to this. All right? So, you know, whenever you bake, it's always nice to, a little pinch of salt, whatever you got, always makes the world go round, all right? And then we need some baking um, powder from somewhere. All right, I need some baking powder. Now I know I got some. I just don't really know quite exactly where it's at. 
So y'all hold the line once I got it. See? You always have baking powder. You just don't know where it's set when you need it. Okay? All right. So then we're going to add a teaspoon of uh, baking powder right to, right to this. Okay? That's all you need. And that's pretty much it for my dry ingredients. Okay? All right. Now let's add in some of the wet uh, ingredients now, okay? So I need some eggs, which I have. Y'all can't see it, but it's right here behind me. And this buttermilk. Okay. So I'm gonna crack in here a couple of eggs. Just two, and these are uh, large eggs. But again, if large eggs, if they, you go down there to the back of the store, you know, and you say, I'm looking for large eggs so I can make this cornbread that I seen Darius make online. And they tell you, well, the large eggs not on sale but the medium eggs on sale, what, what we gonna pick up? The medium eggs, it's that simple. It ain't even that hard, this ain't even, this don't even take much comprehension, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put the eggs in there. I didn't beat them beforehand or any of that stuff, all right? Because I just wanna show you just how easy it is to, to do this, okay? All right, then I'm gonna take that one stick of melted butter and throw that right in here as well. If this happened to be a stick and a half, you ain't gonna hear no complaints from me on that either. Okay, just FYI, okay? All right, in goes, I should probably shake this up a little bit. I'm looking for consistency, something like um, pancake batter, okay? You know what pancake batter looks like, yes? All right, that's what we're looking for. It's kind of like the same consistency. So the beautiful thing about this is that you can always add more liquid to it, but you can't take no liquid out of it, okay? So you're looking for pancake batter. Add a little bit at a time until you get the consistency that looks something like this, see? Looks like pancake batter, no? Let me show you. I'm going to go up close to all the cameras just so y'all can see what it looked like. Okay? See that? So it's giving you the consistency of like a, a really good uh, pancake batter. Right? That's what we're going for. Yes, y'all see that? You got it? All right. Uh, I don't do none of that preheat in the pan and all that stuff that people do. If you want to preheat your pan, by all means, preheat your pan. Personally, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> but hey, knock yourself out. The other thing I don't do, which is very surprising, is I don't... Um, butter or grease the pan because typically if I'm going to make cornbread I'm making it in the cast iron skillet okay um I don't have one of my own uh to use yet so I'm going to use this one but um the cast iron skillet does a really great job of making sure that your stuff won't stick all right which is exactly what we're going for it right here. So, reach. Oven is at 375. Just doing a little smush. Okay. My oven's at 375. No, it's not. 350. I lied. It's at 350. And then this uh, beautiful pan of cornbread batter can go in the oven until it turns itself into cornbread. Okay. which is what we are going for. 
okay? Now that's cornbread, and that's out of the way. And don't worry, I got a couple of tutorials coming. Let me cut this off, I'm y'all in my business, hold on. I got a couple of tutorials coming uh, about cornbread dressing. It's really the same recipe that we just did, except instead of a cup of sugar, it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon of sugar. That's it, okay? All right, I'm gonna use this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful Darius Cook's Dutch oven that comes in the pearl and the gold, all right? Um, the, if you do not have this, it is a complete game changer in the kitchen, okay? Enamel, so semi non-stick, high quality, heavy duty, I am in love, okay? Not just in love because it's got my name on it, but kind of in love because it's got my name on it. If you want it, see at the bottom this is DariusCooks.tv. So if you want it, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com and then just use the code to save because it's kind of expensive. Now, it's 60% less than the competition. Huh? So 60% less than the competition, but yet and still, um, I do recognize that it is pretty, it is pretty pricey. I know that. Um, but it's just the nature of what it is and the material and whatnot. So, you know, when you want quality, you're gonna pay for quality, all right? And so far, you guys are loving, uh, you're loving this, which makes me super happy, okay? All right, so I'm gonna jack the heat all the way up. I'm gonna put this on, top it with the lid, and we'll get the water starting to boil and go for for that okay in the meantime in between time we got some work to do okay now I just picked a bunch of cheese I, I just you know was online I was on Instacart this morning like add 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 because whatever I don't use now will be I can use in the future okay so mozzarella is going to be a must gouda is going to be a must and American cheese product is going to be a must okay I have a seriously sharp cheddar I have a Colby Jack and I have a pepper jack so that's one two three four five six Okay, that I'm about to use. Let me grab a few things. Y'all hold the line. All right. Now, you could, by all means, buy these cheeses already shredded. Okay? Do not let, listen. Life is already tough enough, okay? Do me a favor. Do not let people get in your ear and talk you out of it, okay? My thing is this. Do what you got to do for yourself, okay? If you don't want to grate no cheese this year, it's a tough year. Don't grate no cheese, okay? And that's it, all right? Now, I'm going to put in some pepper jack cheese. How much I'm going to grate? I'm probably going to grate. I'm probably going to grate. Well, let's see. We're just going to grate to the Lord say, well done. That's all we're going to do. We're going to listen to the Lord, and we're going to grate based on that, okay? So this is about half of uh, the pepper jack. Okay. I'm going to throw this, if I can stop eating it, up into this other bowl right in front of me. Okay. 
Okay. Look, you don't have to use pepper jack. If you don't like pepper jack, use the pepper or the jack. Okay? If you want something a little different, this is your stuff. You see what I'm saying? You do what you think you want to do. Okay? Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Okay? Practice this first. Don't you show up in two weeks, talking about It's my first time making the macaroni and cheese and I'm going to test this out on y'all. Don't. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you ain't. Shit. You finna test what? Out on who? Okay? Talk about some uh, <laughs> ladies. How y'all doing? <laughs> Fellas, you all right? No, we not all right. Don't you, don't you, that ain't what you do. You ain't supposed to do that. You, ain't, you got to practice this. So whatever you do, if it's your first time making the macaroni and cheese, just, just do your practice run first so you can see how it come out. Okay? Because you know where I come from, it's a macaroni and cheese is a serious situation, and you need um, five to seven years of progressive senior experience. We're gonna need three references and three samples before we allow you to bring the macaroni through. I'm gonna tell you a one year, my cousin. Kathy, Arena and Caprice brought a Kathy. She brought this pan of like sauteed, like fried corn. Y'all, I don't know what she did to this fried corn. The fried corn was sweet and crunchy and peppery. And she was like, oh, all I did was all you did was what? Because this is a. I ate the whole pan. No shame in my game. I don't live there. You ain't got to see me ever again. I ate the whole pan. I don't care. Mm -mm. Ate the whole pan. It was so good, y'all. I said, dang, man. This is delicious. It was so freaking good. Okay? All right, this is white cheddar. So I so far I use pepper jack. I use the Kobe, and this is that really sharp um, white cheddar. I'm gonna say something else. Can I say something in my Mama Joyce voice? Can, can I say something? Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Half of y'all gonna agree. Half of y'all going to disagree. It doesn't matter to me. Okay? Mozzarella. Oh. Let's put our pasta in there. Water. Hold on. Okay. Oh. It ain't boiling yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Um, and this is going to be a pop unpopular opinion. And I do know that I'm not going to get any amens on this. But I'm going to say this anyway. Okay? I personally don't think that the kind of cheese that you use in the macaroni and cheese is that important. I think you need two types at least Everything else you can play with. I'm going to say it again. I do not believe in my heart of hearts that it matters what kind of cheese you use as long as you have at least two types of cheeses. 
a cheddar, and a mozzarella. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Just like you entitled to yours, that's it. Okay? Because when was the last time you tasted a macaroni and cheese and was like, Kobe Jack, Havarti, Parmesan. Is this feta? You've never done that a day in your life, ever. So personally, I just don't think it matters a whole lot. As long as you have a good mozzarella, because a mozzarella is going to give you a beautiful melting and stringiness and a cheddar for the taste. That's my personal opinion. Take it or leave it. And if you've ever been to dining with Darius Cooks and had the macaroni and cheese, I don't even know what kind of cheese we used. This is what I like to say. You know, starting some stuff. Now, because uh, grandma used to always use, listen, grandma gone, all right? She not here no more. She went on to be with the Lord. And you know, you know, groceries getting very expensive these days. Okay? So use whatever is on sale. Okay? Groceries is getting very expensive. Y'all seen the price of food? It's time for us to own some farms around here. All right, this is my um, smoked Gouda. All right, so I got Kobe Jack, Pepper Jack, smoked Gouda, cheddar, mozzarella, and mozzarella, right? So, all in my bowl, ready to go. Now again, I could have just bought pre-shredded cheese. Some people don't like pre-shredded cheese because they say it doesn't melt the same or whatever. To each his own, okay? If yours doesn't melt, yours doesn't melt, but to each his own. All right, so I got quite a bit of cheese in here, all mixed up, which is great. And then I'm gonna prep this Velveeta. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes. I like Velveeta in my macaroni and cheese. And yes, I like the adult version of cranberry sauce. Shoot me, okay? Because of what I like, I don't care. That's so funny though, right? So like, okay, you eating this bougie um, cranberry sauce, but you putting Velveeta, so. All right, this is definitely boiling now. And I'm gonna use some large, I'm gonna use the large elbows out of here, okay? The large ones. Now, you know what we do whenever we cook pasta, right? There's two golden rules. Come on, D-Hive, where y'all at? All right, there's two golden rules. What are the golden rules? What do we do? Every time you make pasta, you say this to yourself, and you hear my voice in your head every single time. I'm not going to fail you. Let me, let me read the comments. Hold on. There you go. I see them. I see them. Yes. Always, always, always. I love it. Oversalt the water and undercook the pasta every single time. Okay? So we oversalt it. And now we're going to undercook. Our pasta. Now, I know you're saying there he is, but why are you overcooking the pasta? I mean, why are you undercooking the pasta? Because look, you're gonna cook the pasta right now, and then you're gonna put it into the oven, and then you're gonna cook it some more. So you don't been done cook the pasta twice, and Jesus did not die on the cross. 
for you to be overcooking this pasta. Yes? All right, that's not what he came here for. It was a life. More abundantly. And you can't be abundant, all right, unless you got this pasta the right way. Okay, so I'm just cubing my Velveeta. And what I'm going to do with this is uh, as I stir in the, the white sauce we're about to make, my mouth watering, hold on. As I stir in the white sauce, I'm going to um, tuck and stir in that, that Velveeta. It won't melt at first, but when you put it in the oven, it melts down. So when you break into it and you crack into it, you have these little surprising pockets of like cheesy goodness. And you're like, yes, uh, this is what I need. This is what I've been waiting for, okay? So, so good, all right? Speaking of so good, let me check my cornbread. I'm sure it's fine. I just want to just double check it. Oh, yes. It looks good. Pasta is looking good. I'm just starting to keep it moving. And I want this pasta super al dente. I do not want this pasta to be like, you know, cooked all the way. I don't want that at all. You know, there's no God in that. Okay. All right. I am going to whip up a little cabbage. And I call it church lady cabbage. And the reason I call it church lady cabbage is because this is the cabbage that the church ladies would make on Sunday for like pastor's anniversary or you see how good this knife is? This is the Darius Cooks knife. If you don't have this, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. You see how great this knife cuts into this cabbage? Watch this. Look at this. Barely any effort at all and this knife that I've used for everything still cuts right through this cabbage with no problem. This knife will be yours right now at shopdariushooks.com. Now, just until the live goes off, you can save 42%. So if you go to shopdariushooks.com, Add anything to your cart, check out, use the code crab rice, and then you'll save um, 40%, 41, I think. You'll save something, okay? I don't forget what it was. All right, I wanna get this pasta out, okay? I'm gonna drain this pasta, because Again, I'm just looking for it to be just al dente, right? I don't want to cook it all the way through. I love this. Watch this. Look at this. Nothing sticks at the bottom. Isn't this great? Look at this. You know how sometimes you use your, your cast iron or your enamel, you use it, and then stuff be stuck in the bottom? No, nothing. In love, shopdariuscooks.com, 42% or 40% off, use the code. I see you guys are ordering everything. I see you, I see you, I see you. I see you, okay? Shopdariuscooks.com, I love it. All right, I got this pan back on. I'm going to do a really quick um, sauce for the macaroni and cheese. Okay? This is uh, I don't know. I've been making it like this for years. It works. It's juicy. It's beautiful. It's amazing. 
Let's go, okay? I'm gonna add one stick of butter to uh, this pan, right? And as that butter begins to melt, I got some flour. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle in the flour and then stir it with the melted butter. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm making a roux, but I'm making a light skin roux, okay? I don't want no dark skin roux. We're not making gumbo. We're making uh, macaroni and cheese, okay? I guess it just works better if you put your hand on your hip while you stir. I don't know. It's what my grandmother used to do. I, I don't know. I'm doing it too. Okay, don't ask me why. I don't know. That was she did. Okay, well, she's going to phone talking to her girlfriend. Down, one, one of her soprano girlfriends down, <laughs> down from the choir rehearsal, gossiping. Talking about pastor. <laughs> okay, we don't want this to go too far, so I'm going to add in some half and half and just stir together with my roux. All right, and if you don't have half and half, uh, half milk, half cream, now you got half and half, okay? It's that simple. All right, so I'm just stirring. Um, because this is a thickening agent, as soon as... This almost comes to a boil. Uh, it'll be, it'll, it'll thicken, and that's what you want to see. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir a little bit. All right, and I didn't. You see, I didn't put this away because if it's a little too thick on us, because that happened too. Sometimes it'll get a little too thick, and you want to just thin it out a little bit. So I got this on standby just in case, okay? And it won't take long. As a matter of fact, we're just about there. Okay. All right. My sauce is just thickened. Look at this, right? This is what you want. You don't don't let it go too far. All right, let it just thicken. All right. Now, there's no flavor in here yet, huh? Here we go. You need salt. Now, I know you're gonna say, Darius, but you put all that salt in the water. Yes, I put all that salt in the water for the pasta. We're gonna add this cheese in here and we added this cream and stuff. So this not seasoned, so you have to season this, and this is probably why your stuff be tasting bland because you don't really season it that good, all right? All right, you gotta put that salt in there. One thing you don't want is a piece of bland macaroni and cheese. You're gonna get talked about, okay? See what I mean? Look at this. See how thick that is on this? That's what you're looking for, okay? So that was some salt and pepper. And then we're going to add some of this, some of this, and some of this. A little piece of garlic powder. Why? Because garlic and cheese go together really well. A little piece of onion powder. Why? Because onion and cheese go together really, really well. A little piece of smoked paprika. Why? Because it's good. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Now, other than that, oh, you know what thing I got to add in here that y'all don't like? Well, I don't care. I need one more thing. A little piece of sour cream. I wish y'all could smell this. I wish you could smell this in front of me. This, the scent of this coming up is amazing, okay? I'm adding in 
a nice amount of sour cream. Why do we add sour cream? Because sour cream likes to keep everything moist and juicy. It adds a little bit of tang, a little bit of flavor, and it's delicious, okay? All right, so in go the pasta that we just boiled, all right, to, the, to al dente, all right? Now, you're gonna notice something that I, very different, okay? And you're gonna be like, Darius, now wait a minute. You haven't added the cheese, okay? So I used to melt the cheese into the sauce. But then I started doing that and I didn't like the end result, right? It would taste good, but I want that, I want to be able to, you know, to do that. And what I realized was you can't do that. You know what that is, you know, showing off in your flesh, huh? Okay, you can't do that if you put the cheese in the sauce, but if you put the cheese in last, then it'll do that, all right? So I just added in those little cubes of Velveeta for a little surprise, okay? And I'm just gonna take this mixture of cheeses that I've mixed up, and of course, I'm gonna save some for the top, obviously, right? And I'm gonna stir this together really well. So this is the Gouda, the cheddar, um, the pepper jack, the mozzarella, and some white cheddar. Oh, Kobe Jack. So, and listen. Okay, if you do it right, all right, you hear that, okay? All right, so, showstopper is my Darius Cooks. This is the Darius Cooks braising pan in the pearl and the gold as well. You can get this at shopdariuscooks.com as well. I, you guys are blowing these sales up, okay? I don't know, I don't have the sound on, but you guys are literally uh, blowing this apart, okay? Like, I don't know what's going on, but thank you, okay? Because y'all are tearing this up, okay? Shopdariuscooks.com. Use the cold crab rice. You can save, okay? All right. I'm going to transfer the mac and cheese out of this pan into this other pan, okay? Now, you could bake it right in here. And you see what's already starting to happen? You see that? You're already starting to get the stringiness just from the heat, right? We haven't even cooked this yet. All right. I mean, it's cooked, but we haven't let it all come together in the oven. But just because of the heat of this, you already start to get the melting of the cheese. You get those cheese pulls that I so like, okay? Personally, I love. So cheese pulls are happening. The Velveeta is tucked underneath, so you won't even see it in there. It's gonna get a nice little cute surprise when you bite into the macaroni and cheese, okay? I might do another tutorial for you. I'm sure I will. Uh, just so that you have this down packed and ready to go, okay? All right. Smooth that out. Beautiful, right? Look at that. I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese right on top. Okay. And then before I put it in the, now my oven's at 350, this other one. All right, this other one's at 350. All right, let me show you. This is what it looks like before, okay? So this is what it looks like before, and I haven't put it in the oven yet, so I'm about to put it in the oven so the oven can do its work. 
Okay, but you can see it's gonna be good. All right. Shout out to everybody who's buying something. Okay, shout out to everybody who's on my online store tearing it up. I so appreciate y'all. I can even see, let me see. Uh, if I see names, hold on. If I go to my email. Let's see what pops up. It's refreshing. Let me get this pot clean, cause we're not gonna dirty up no more dishes, huh? Nope. We're gonna use the same pot that we just used. And I'm gonna show you how to make this church lady cabbage real fast. That the old ladies used to make down to the church, down to the Baptist church. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Always so, so good. And um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I'm adding sugar to the cabbage, okay? I'm about to add sugar to this cabbage. All right. Let me get my pan on. I'm gonna use this same um, Dutch oven to work in. And then I'm gonna grab some bacon out of the fridge, all right? Grab me a little bacon. Okay, so, oh my God, you guys. I don't even know, Marie, Huey, Margaret, Anita, Linda, Sheena, Robin James, Chantel Baker, Rita Brandon, Tiffany Yarbrough, Kimberly Slaughter, uh, Cherie Hemphill, uh, Willie Murray, Angela Williams, Angela Bridges. Y'all, this, y'all are lighting this store up. Shonda Kinsey. Yvette Taylor, I, it's so many names. I can't even read all the people who just bought stuff. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you really enjoy. The products that are coming to your front door, okay? Shout out to y'all. I see you, I see you. Oh, I cut it off, my bad. <laughs> I see you. All right, so before we fry the fish, I'm going to hook up the church lady cabbage. It won't take that long on this, but I'm going to take some bacon, a couple of strips, <laughs> okay, of bacon, and I cut it right out the pack like that. All right, and then... I just want to cut the bacon uh, into a couple of, like little pieces. Um, you could use like smoked turkey if you let it, if you cook it down, but I just think the bacon is so good, right? And I like to find as many ways to use bacon as I can, all right? And church lady cabbage is beautiful for that. Now, along with this bacon, okay, the church ladies, they black. And you know black church ladies put onion and bell pepper in everything, okay? And that's why I be tasting so good, because they put, 
they put it, so I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna put it in my cabbage. Why not? This I learned how to make it from watching the ladies at the church. Okay? And it was delicious. Alright, so I just got a half an onion. I'm just gonna slice it. Alright, and I'm gonna throw this whole half an onion in here with this bacon, okay? I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. So we can saute. Oh, I need a little oil. I'm putting a little olive oil in here too, y'all. Okay, that was a little olive oil. Okay. Bell pepper, green. It's just something about, that's what they did. So, you know, who am I? to mess up a, a good tradition, okay? Who am I to mess up a good tradition? Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna do what they was doing. It worked, okay? So I'm gonna slice up me a pepper, okay? And I'm gonna throw this pepper on in this cabbage. Okay. This knife is gorgeous, as you can see. Okay, I call it my, my helper in the kitchen. It's the tool that you need, your partner. Uh, shop DariusCooks.com 40% off while we're live Okay Alright Only while we're live though Then it goes back down So if you want to take advantage Like everybody else is doing On the extra 15% You can do that Shop DariusCooks.com Okay, bacon, bell pepper, and onion are all doing really great things. I never uh, rinsed off this cabbage, so let me do that. And then, okay, couple things. I like bacon a lot. And I don't necessarily always have to have crispy bacon. For me, I like when bacon is almost treated as though it's like salt pork and it kind of cooks and breaks down, but it's it's not like brown. It's still kind of like bacony, but it's still cooked through. That's what I like. So I'm gonna do that with this. But if you like your bacon to be, you know, more crispy, then just cook it longer before you add the cabbage. Either way works. But uh, I don't know if you ever had a pan of turnip greens with the bacon cooked in it and the bacon kind of tears up like salt pork. Oh my God, okay? So good. Okay, I'm just gonna add my cabbage right into the pan with this. I wish y'all could see. First of all, I wish you could smell this, okay? It's just bacon, onion, and bell pepper, but the whole house is like on fire, okay? All right, in go the cabbage. All right, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of water. And I'm gonna put the lid on top and let it smother itself on down the way the church ladies taught me how to do it okay the church ladies they're so cute all right you have uh geneva jones one of the church ladies laura dimming is one of the church ladies and a couple of them know went on home to be with the lord trinetta robinson uh betty mckinley fanny burgess the one on home to be with the lord uh but Lula Adams, 
went on home to be with the Lord, but they taught me, man, they taught me so much just by like them nurturing us and like feeding us throughout the years, having, you know, being able to watch that has just been, just been amazing. So I'm super grateful um, for that opportunity. And, you know, listen, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at, bro. Okay. All right. Let's talk fish real fast because we do have to fry fish. But I saved the fish for last because it, it ain't going to take that long to fry this up. Okay. It's going to fry up real fast. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I, wish you, oh. Ooh, I wish you could smell this house, bruh. All right, let's talk fish. Why don't we? All right, I have some flounder. All right, so I'm gonna start with flounder. All right, and I only got me a couple pieces. That's it, you know, two little pieces of flounder. But I'm going to cut this flounder into four pieces, huh? That way we have four pieces of fish. So that's one, and that's two, right? And then this is three, and this is four on the flounder. Okay? Along with the flounder, I got some walleye, okay? All right, they had walleye available at the local fish, at the local Publix. So look what I picked up. Beautiful walleye, okay? A be beautiful, mild, um, white, fleshy fish. That's gonna be outstanding when we fry it, okay? So I'm taking my fillets, and as you can see, I can cut the fillets down into pieces. That way, you know, one fillet, I, I'm able to get four pieces out of one fillet. I think that's outstanding. <laughs> okay, way to stretch it. All right, and sometimes you need stretching, okay? Let me check my cornbread, y'all. Hold on. Uh huh. Oh, yes, God. Uh -huh. uh huh. I thought somebody said something about the cornbread. Did somebody in the comments say something? Uh, oh, the cornbread burnt. Check the cornbread. It's not gonna come out right. He don't forget about the cornbread. Now what you're supposed to do, as soon as your cornbread come out of the oven, while it's still hot, you run this stick of butter on top of this cornbread like this, huh? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to run this little stick of butter while it's hot, that way it still absorbs and picks up all the flavor, okay? Uh, of that butter. Okay, then we're gonna take us a little piece of honey. This is orange blossom honey, okay? And just gonna run a little piece of honey on top of that cornbread, just like that. Now, I'm gonna bring this to the camera, that way you guys can get a look at what this cornbread looks like, okay? I want you to see this up close and personal, okay? It's hot, so I gotta move fast. All right, you see that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, all right, so that's gonna be delicious with our macaroni and cheese. 
and our church lady cabbage. Oh, oh, oh my God. Let me give it a little more water. Okay. Everybody just calm down, okay? Everybody just calm down. All right, I have my Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, which should be back in stock soon, okay? <laughs> <sighs> be back in stock soon. All right, and I'm just gonna put some oil um, in there. I'm just gonna use, this is canola oil, right? Whatever you got. Right. And we're going to let that canola oil come up to temperature. Meanwhile, now that we've had a chance to clean the fish, we should probably talk about seasoning on the fish. Yes? Okay. So, you can season with whatever you have. All right? I'm going to start, of course, with garlic and onion powder just because it's good. That's it. There's no other reason beside that. Okay, so a little garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder. All right, and then over here, I have a few things that I like to add. All right, so the first is, or the next, I guess, is um, sazon, okay? not made by Goya, all right? You know Goya done pissed us off. Okay, they done pissed me off, all right? Goya, shit. Used to love Goya, but not anymore. Okay, along with that, got me a little Cajun seasoning to go in here as well, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna add a few more things. This what I like in my stuff. You don't gotta put this in yours if you don't like it, okay? I got a little bit of Old Bay, okay? A little bit of dried fennel and a little pinch of lemon pepper. That's what I like. Do what you like, okay? A piece of lemon pepper, boom, we good, all right? Uh, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, not that much, but you know that Old Bay don't be salty enough, and that Cajun season don't be salty enough, okay? So a little pinch of salt, and that really was a pinch, and black pepper okay um oh here it goes we got some buttermilk to moisten everything up and get everybody ready to go okay and then we can Mix this together, making sure every piece of fish is coated beautifully. Let me show you this. Look at this. This is what I mean when I say season. Do you see that? This is what I mean when I say season. Yeah, if you have to ask what happened, then go to Google and see what Google says about Goya. Okay? They said, Goya ain't do nothing to nobody. Okay. Then Goya ain't do nothing to nobody. All right. Okay, let's add in some flour. All right, 
I gotta get a little flour. And let's put a little cornmeal in here too, huh? Just because we can. Okay, a little flour and a little cornmeal. We making a um <laughs> you know we done made a homemade uh fish fry. That's all fish fry is, it's cornmeal, seasoning, and flour. They got y'all paying all that money for. Okay, all right, give this a mix. Make sure it's all coated well. If not, recoat so it's beautiful. Like I need a little more flour. Hold on, y'all need some more flour in here. Let me see if this oil is hot. Oh, it is. All right, all right. And we can drop the fish right into the hot oil. One. Two. Now these thinner pieces go gonna cook a little faster than the thick pieces. So just keep your eye out on your flounder versus your uh, walleye or catfish or whatever else y'all got going on. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the mac and cheese, and then let's deal with our cabbage, and we should be ready to eat. Oh, child. Woo! I love it here. Love it here. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Absolutely in love, okay? Absolutely in love. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Love it. All right, I'm just getting my plate ready with some uh, paper towel to drain off my uh, fish. But let's talk about this cabbage because it needs my attention now. Okay. So the cabbage is cooked down, right? It's got a little bit of liquid in the bottom that's gonna cook out. Oh, like this is not even seasoned yet, okay? And it's smelling like, oh, something good. All right, let's do a little bit of, a little bit more oil. I like a slick tasting cabbage, personally. I like it to be like, I like that, okay? I don't know what sound that was, but that's what I like. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, let me flip my fish. So that was oil. Black pepper, a lot of it. My Cajun seasoning. Okay. Blue Cajun. 
A little chicken bouillon. Okay, this is the church. This is how the church ladies made theirs. Okay, a little garlic. Low onion. And a little pinch of sugar. Okay? That's how the church ladies made it. That's how I'm finna eat it. Okay? I don't want to hear your mouth. I don't care. All right? If that ain't what you like. Don't put it in yours if you don't want to. But in mine, it's going to be good. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh! Hoo -hoo. We finna eat good. We about to eat some good food. Oh, we about to eat some good food. Okay. All right. Everybody just calm down. Okay? Let me check the fish. You just calm down. Oh, 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 all right, I'm going to get the fish out, okay, I'm getting the fish out, you just calm down. I'm going to go camera to camera so y'all can see the fish. <laughs> Excuse me. You know that cage and get to you after a while. Okay? Look at that. Huh? Huh? What y'all see? What y'all see? Somebody said something? Huh? <laughs> Y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Okay. Oh. Sugar don't belong in cabbage. Okay, don't put it in yours. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. Let me grab some hot sauce, please. Whatever kind of hot sauce you like, you use that. Okay. All right. Grab me a little plate. All right. Let me give me a little serving of this. Del oh, FYI, this is in the cookbook. I thought y'all knew that. I thought I made that. I probably didn't tell you. Anyway, this is on page... Let's see here. Right here. Page 109. It's right here. Same recipe. Stories from my grandmother's kitchen. I've been making it for years. Okay? I'm qualified. And now so are you. Okay? Okay, I'm qualified. And now, so are you, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is, what you really want to see is you really want that nice pool of cheese. If you don't have that, what what we doing? Why are we here, okay? If that's not what you have, what are we what are we eating and why are we eating it, all right? That's what you want to see, okay? All right. Okay, that's what you want, baby, with the macaroni. I told you, you need, you need some years on you to make that. Okay, you show up with that, everybody gonna be like, uh, from now on, 
you are on macaroni and cheese duty, and you be like, okay. I ain't got no problem with that. Okay, I ain't got no problem with that at all. Macaroni and cheese duty. Oh, my God. Look at this. Come on, look at that. Come on, get into that cornbread, please. Get into that cornbread. Huh? Look at that. What y'all seeing? Huh? Somebody say something? Oh. I thought somebody had said something about the cornbread. I thought somebody said something about the cornbread. I thought somebody had said about the cornbread. I ain't here. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. That is something dangerous, okay? All right. You get a little piece of this cabbage. It's really what I want here. This is really what I want right here. Okay, a little piece of this church lady cabbage. Gonna smother down with this bacon. Oh. Okay, with this bacon on top. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. I don't know what y'all came to do, but I came to eat lunch and came down to the fish fry. Church of God in Christ, huh? Y'all put hot sauce on your cabbage? It don't matter if you don't, I did. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bow your head. Let me show you the, I'll show you the plate. I'll show you the plate first. I'll show you the plate. Look, here you go. Do he like boys? No, he likes men. That's the difference. How you doing? Okay, no, he likes men, girl. You don't want no boys. Okay, y'all see that? See? You check it out. Sorry, y'all. You know my allergies. I'm gonna go give me some Benadryl in a little bit. All right, all right. Now come on. We got work to do. Bow your head so we can say grace. Grace. All right. Come on, macaroni and cheese. Every single time. Every single time. It comes out perfect every single time. Creamy. Cheesy. Flavorful. And the pasta is cooked beautifully. Not overcooked. Not gummy. Mmm. Mm. That's good, y'all. No, no lie, I'm not bullshitting. Amazing. Okay. And the cabbage. See how the bacon is cooked through? The bacon is crumbled a little bit. Okay. That was not like. Mmm. Oh, I can eat the whole pot, cabbage and cornbread. That's it. Oh, mm. mmm, mmm, that's good. Okay, and to the fried fish because it's a fish fry and today is Friday. Ah. Mm. 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 Hey, babe. Oh, my God. Okay. 
it's so nice when you know how to cook. Now listen, recipes like this, you know what I'm finding? Mm. You got 14 minutes on that discount code, all right? You got 14 minutes on the discount code. After that, it's over. Recipes like this on the website, GaryAsCooks.tv. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, tonight, I got to wish you a happy cooking while I eat, huh? From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. <laughs> mm. Mm, so good. Mm.